Hello, everyone. Welcome to Learn Spanish with Norma. In this lesson, you will learn how to conjugate the Spanish regular verbs in the present tense. La conjugación de los verbos regulares en el tiempo presente. Many Spanish verbs are completely regular, meaning that they follow a specific pattern of conjugation. In Spanish, there are three categories of verbs. One group of Spanish verbs end in AR. Remember that the AR verbs represent about 80% of all the Spanish verbs. These are the endings we might use to conjugate all Spanish regular verbs that end in AR. Each ending must agree with its corresponding subject pronoun. For a review of the subject pronouns, I recommend you to watch my video about this topic. You will find the link in the description box. In Spanish, you conjugate all infinitive verbs by changing the endings. And now, let's conjugate one verb that belongs to this group. The verb to speak in Spanish is hablar. This is the infinitive form of the verb to speak in Spanish. The infinitive is the most basic form of a Spanish verb. While in English, infinitive verbs are preceded by the word to, as in to speak, in Spanish, all infinitives are only one word and one group of infinitive verbs in Spanish and in AR. For conjugating this Spanish verb, hablar, just remove the last two letters, the AR ending and then add the corresponding endings that match each subject pronoun. So, this is the conjugation of the Spanish verb hablar in the present tense. Yo hablo. Tú hablas. Usted, él, ella habla. Nosotros hablamos. Ustedes hablan. Ellos, ellas, hablan. Now, let's see some example sentences. Tú hablas varios idiomas. Ella habla muy rápido. Ellos hablan alemán. The second group of Spanish regular verbs end in ER. Remember that verbs that end in ER are the second largest group of regular verbs in Spanish. And these are the endings we must use to conjugate all Spanish regular verbs that end in ER. As you can see, each ending must agree with its corresponding subject pronoun. Now you know that in Spanish, we conjugate all infinitive verbs by changing the endings. Let's conjugate one verb that belongs to this group. The verb to eat in Spanish is comer. This is the infinitive form of the verb to eat in Spanish. For conjugating this Spanish verb comer, just remove the last two letters, the ER ending, and then Add the corresponding endings that match each subject pronoun. So, this is the conjugation of the Spanish verb comer in the present tense. Yo como. Tú comes. Usted, él, ella come. Nosotros comemos. Ustedes comen. Ellos, ellas, comen. Now, let's see some example sentences. Yo como pan en el desayuno. Ella solo come verduras. Ustedes siempre comen juntos.
the third and last group of Spanish regular verbs end in IR. And these are the endings we must use to conjugate all Spanish regular verbs that end in IR. Each ending must agree with its corresponding subject pronoun. Now, let's conjugate one verb that belongs to this group. The verb to live in Spanish is vivir. This is infinitive form of the verb to live in Spanish. For conjugating this Spanish verb vivir, just remove the last two letters, the IR ending, and then add the corresponding endings that match each subject pronoun. So, this is the conjugation of the Spanish verb vivir in the present tense. Yo vivo. Tú vives. Usted, él, ella vive. Nosotros vivimos. Ustedes viven. Ellos, ellas viven. Now, Let's see some example sentences. Yo vivo con mis padres. Ella vive cerca de aquí. Ellos viven juntos. Now, in this chart you can see the endings you must use to conjugate the three groups of Spanish regular verbs in the present tense. Notice that the three groups of verbs have the same endings to conjugate the first person singular form. You can also see that the endings for ER and IR verbs are almost identical, except for the first person plural form, the nosotros form. Keep practicing, and once you know these endings, you will be able to figure out the conjugation for the majority of the Spanish verbs. That's all for now. And please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Gracias. Nos vemos en la próxima lección.